Welcome to this tutorial on speeding up Simulink. In this session, we will explore running Simulink in accelerator mode. In Simulink, we can run a model in three different simulation modes. Normal mode, accelerator mode, and rapid accelerator mode, each offering distinct performance benefits and use cases. In normal mode, the MATLAB technical computing environment serves as the foundation for the Simulink software. Simulink controls the simulation by managing the solver and invoking various model methods, such as computing model outputs. Importantly, normal mode operates within a single process, which means that both MATLAB and Simulink share the same memory space and execution environment. Normal mode in Simulink directly interprets the model during simulation, without generating code. This approach ensures that simulation results remain as close as possible to the model's design, without abstractions or approximations introduced by code generation. In normal mode, simulations run directly based on the model, making it slower for large models compared to other modes. It is ideal for building, debugging, and refining models during the early stages of development. It also works well for small to moderately complex models where performance is not a primary concern. However, for larger models or when simulation performance becomes critical, switching to accelerator or rapid accelerator mode can offer significant improvements. By default, accelerator mode uses just-in-time JIT acceleration, generating an execution engine directly in memory rather than creating C code or MEX files. This approach enhances simulation performance by separating the model methods from the Simulink software and including them in the acceleration target code, which is reused in subsequent simulations. The acceleration target code resides in memory and remains available for reuse as long as the model is open. Simulink serializes the target code, ensuring the model does not need to be rebuilt each time it is reopened. Accelerator mode typically runs simulations faster than normal mode especially for large and complex models. It is ideal for repeated simulation tasks, iterative testing, and large-scale validation scenarios. Rapid Accelerator Mode generates a standalone executable from your Simulink model, which includes the solver and model methods. This executable runs independently of the Simulink environment and communicates with Simulink using external mode, allowing for faster simulation performance. If a second processing core is available, the standalone executable runs on that core, while MATLAB and Simulink continue to run in the primary process. By offloading computations to the standalone executable, rapid accelerator mode can achieve substantially faster simulation speeds, particularly for large and complex models. Multi-core processing ensures better use of available system resources. In summary, Accelerator mode improves simulation performance but reduces flexibility, interactivity, and diagnostic capabilities compared to normal mode. When choosing between normal mode, accelerator mode, or rapid accelerator mode, it is important to balance simulation speed with the level of flexibility and interactivity required for your specific task. When simulation execution time exceeds the time required for code generation, Accelerator mode and rapid accelerator mode offer significant speed improvements over normal mode. However, their performance advantage depends on the model's complexity, content, and simulation stop time. For short simulation durations, normal mode typically results in quicker overall simulations because it avoids the overhead of building the accelerator target or rapid accelerator executable. For longer simulation durations, for example, several minutes or more, the speed advantage of accelerator and rapid accelerator modes becomes apparent as the one-time code generation overhead is offset by faster execution. Choosing the right simulation mode requires balancing the overhead of code generation against the expected execution time. For small, simple models or quick tests, normal mode is often the most efficient. For larger, more complex models or long-duration simulations, Accelerator mode and rapid accelerator mode can significantly reduce total simulation time. We will demonstrate how accelerator mode enhances simulation performance with an example.
First, we run the model in normal mode. Simulink directly interprets the model and we record the total simulation time, including initialization and execution times. Next, we switch to accelerator mode. Simulink generates the execution engine in memory, the accelerator target code, during the first run. Next, we run the simulation in accelerator mode again. Subsequent simulations reuse the generated target code, skipping the need for reinterpretation of the model. As observed, during the first simulation in accelerator mode, there is an additional target generation time. However, for subsequent runs, the simulation execution is significantly faster because Simulink reuses the generated target code bypassing the need for repeated model interpretation. This example demonstrates that accelerator mode reduces execution time, especially for models with longer simulation durations or repeated runs. The performance improvement becomes more pronounced as the number of simulations increases, making it ideal for tasks like iterative testing and parameter sweeps. This chart summarizes the simulation performance comparison between normal mode and accelerator mode. As shown, the execution time in accelerator mode is 13 times faster than in normal mode for this example, highlighting the significant performance improvement accelerator mode offers for iterative or long-running simulations. Similarly, we will demonstrate how rapid accelerator mode enhances simulation performance with an example. In this demonstration, we will simulate the same model in rapid accelerator mode and compare the performance in terms of initialization time and execution time. First, we simulate the model in rapid accelerator mode, where Simulink generates a standalone executable from the model, allowing it to run independently of the Simulink environment. We again record the simulation time, focusing on the faster execution provided by the standalone executable. Next, we run the simulation in rapid accelerator mode again. Subsequent simulations reuse the generated standalone executable, skipping the need for reinterpretation of the model. This example demonstrates that rapid accelerator mode typically offers the greatest performance improvement, especially for large, complex models or simulations requiring multiple iterations. The reduction in execution time becomes particularly noticeable when simulations are long or require high-frequency computations. This chart summarizes the simulation performance comparison between normal mode, accelerator mode, and rapid accelerator mode. As shown, the execution time in rapid accelerator mode is 1.1 times faster than in accelerator mode for this example. In summary, accelerator mode significantly improves simulation performance by reducing execution time. But what about reducing initialization time? Stay tuned for the next session to discover methods that can help minimize initialization time and further optimize simulation performance.